Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at Spirits. This is a relaxing fall-themed action puzzle game that was developed and published for the PC and Mac by Spaces of Play. Here in this video I'll be taking some time to show you some gameplay as well as give you my general thoughts and opinions on the game. And we're going to start off here actually by hopping into level select. I want to show you a couple of things in level select, the first of which is the number of levels. So starting here at level number one and scrolling all the way down, you're actually going to see there's a total of 46 levels in the game. Now I'm about halfway through so far, I think the most recent level I completed was 24. And I would say my total playtime, I believe, was about an hour or an hour and a half. So that's putting me at about halfway through the game. Uh, that should give you sort of a rough idea of, uh, generally speaking, how long this game's going to be. Now, keep in mind, as I'm progressing, the levels are getting more and more difficult, and they're taking more time. So there could easily be another two, maybe even three hours worth of play left in the last half of this. Uh, really, I'm not sure at all, though. The other thing I wanted to show you, actually, though, is the world ranking. Uh, when you complete a level... Uh, based on your performance, it's going to give you your world rank. Now you can see here, I'm actually world rank 1 for a few of these, two down there at the bottom, and then a couple of these up top, but don't be too impressed because <laughs> this game was just released yesterday, and on top of that, I don't know how many people are playing this game, there could just be you know, 50 or 100. I'm sure it's more than that, but yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off in level number 1 here in the game Spirits. Alright, so a little bit of an animation there to start, uh, and that animation sort of sets the premise for the game. It basically showing the objective, and I guess we'll call it the story behind this. The idea behind this game is uh, the spirits of fallen leaves are trying to make their way home, and you have to assist them in doing so. Now, in terms of the gameplay, this game actually plays a lot like Lemmings. This is the very first level, pretty basic, but one of these spirits will pop up from a fallen leaf. Once they do, you can click on the spirit, and then select one of these four abilities. Now, from what I've seen, there's actually only these four abilities. This might be something that, uh, you know, that gets added upon later in the game. I'm not certain, though. Uh, but these abilities are locked per level. So in this level, the only ability I have access to is this cloud right here, which can blow wind in a direction. So I'm going to go ahead and select him and choose that, and then we're going to pick it back up. And we pause it just by hitting escape, and that's actually, that's actually something you're supposed to do. Uh, you can also speed things up by holding down space bar, so we're going to do that briefly. Once that guy gets to the top, we're going to pause it again and go ahead and uh, have him blow wind in that direction. And then our following guys here will go ahead and get launched right up into that swirl. And that's the objective. At the most basic level, this is exactly what you're trying to do in this game. Very, very simplistic. Now let's go ahead and go to the next level, number two. So as soon as we get started here, the first thing you're always going to do here is hit escape. Uh, click on your first spirit to see what abilities you have access to. Again, this level is just that one right there. And then also take a look at the level. So we're going to zoom out here and see, all right, so where do I need to go? What's the best route going to be? I'm going to try blowing up in this direction and then see if we can uh, possibly blow up in that direction as well. So we're going to start off here. Um, let me actually have him go a little bit further. Okay, then we're going to pause it right here and let's go ahead and have him blow at this point. Let's see how this one works. All right, so that's going to get the spirits up to that point right there. And then I think from there, okay, you're going to see them continue to move. So we're going to pause this right here. And then I'm going to try to blow it up in this direction. Now let's see if that ends up being a proper trajectory. Oh, needs a little bit more. So we're going to have this guy blow straight up. And that should do it. There you go. So we're going to uh, speed things up here. And you can actually also hit escape and then W to wake up all of the leaves at once. Once you have sort of solved the uh, solved the path in which you're trying to go. And then just, there you go. Beautiful. All right. The level complete. Excellent. Now a perfect solution would have actually been, you can see it shows what I completed it with and what a perfect solution would be. Um, unfortunately, didn't save eight spirits. So I'm guessing the second one ideally would have blown them directly up. Um, I just didn't put them in the right spot or something along those lines. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go to the next level here, uh, level number three. So again, the first thing we're going to do is pause it here, take a look at the ability. So now I've got this ability. Now this one right here actually forms a, a leaf bridge. It's going to form it in either direction. Um, so we're going to actually wait a little bit while to do that. We're going to do it right here. Let's go ahead and pause it up, form that leaf little bridge there, and that's going to walk them right up to this spot. And then there we go. So now these guys are going to go forward 
and you can actually click on them in midair to try to get them to collect these plants, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Now let me click on him a bunch right there. Do I get it? Yes, I did. Wonderful, wonderful. So we got that there. Uh, and that little that little dropping actually creates a path of grass on the ground which will cause these little plant things to grow. And these plants are another aspect of this game in which they're going to be scattered throughout the level uh, in certain levels and you have to try to collect them. Okay, so same deal here. Let's take a look at what we got. We got the plant bridge as well as the gust of wind. So the obvious thing that's going to happen here is we're going to bring this guy right to this point. We're going to go ahead and make our bridge there. It's going to go ahead and put these guys in safety. Obviously, you want to avoid spikes. It's pretty standard in most games. <laughs> and then from this point, we're going to go ahead and do the gust of wind. Oh, might have been a bad spot. No, looks like that works. All right, so that's going to bring everyone right on over. Perfect there. And again, I'm zooming up by holding down spacebar. Normally, they walk at that clip, but you can zoom it up by holding down spacebar once you feel like you've solved it. And beautiful. And that was a perfect right there. Five spirits saved, zero plants collected. There were zero plants in that level. All right, so here we go. Next level here. I'm gonna introduce us to a new mechanic this time. So we've got the ability to drill through things now. Uh, now we don't have a gust of wind, unfortunately, this time, but something else to keep in mind is that as you, um, as you play through this game, you'll notice that the wind dynamically changes based on actions that you perform. So this action, we're gonna be able to drill through and bring people down below to collect this plant. And then we can also drill through this and that'll cause this wind that's blowing in this direction to continue to push forward and hopefully get them past the spikes there. Uh, so let's see what we can do. The first, first call to order though is gonna do a drill straight down. And we're gonna pick up the plants there. There we go, got our one plant. And now we're gonna do a drill straight across. Now it's gonna be done with this guy here. And he is going to go straight across. And we're gonna pick it back up and let's hope that this wind gust is enough to carry them across. Yes, it is. And we're gonna pick up the plant just by dropping down that first one. And you only have to do it the one time. You don't have to do it multiple times. And these guys are gonna to continue to move forward. And beautiful, beautiful day. Level complete. So again, you can see this game, as mentioned earlier, uh, very reminiscent of the game Lemmings. It's been eons since I've actually played Lemmings, but it's basically what this what this game reminds me of. And you know, if that's a game that you're interested in, then you might wanna give this a look. So let's see, we got a couple things here. First one is the drill in a direction, plus we've got the leaf bridge. Uh, we've got a couple of plants with which we must try to collect. Uh, these mushrooms that pop up, those are actually things that you cannot pass through. So watch what's gonna happen here. This guy's gonna bounce back when he reaches the mushroom. Uh, so the first objective here is to get our guys through that. We're gonna drill right through that. It's gonna create a space him, space here for him to move across. And then this guy over here, he's gonna collect this plant. Good, good, good. And then the next call to order, I believe, is gonna be, let's do a drill through this way. It's gonna cause them to go down over in this direction and hopefully we can go ahead and collect this plant right down here. I don't know why it's continuing to tell me to hold down space bar. Thank God that finally got, <laughs> it's like, is that gonna be here the entire time? Gosh, that's annoying. All right, we're gonna pause this here and I'm gonna actually drill in a downward direction this time. Let's see if that's uh, proper though. I'm not sure if they're gonna make it far enough. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick that up right there, and I think that that's gonna do the trick. Yes, it is. So we got the final leaf, and everyone's gonna make it across now. There we go. Speed this game up. Level complete. Now, when it says level complete, you can just, um, I believe you can just go to the next level, but I'm gonna make sure we save the rest of these spirits before that happens. Make sure that everyone makes it across. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, so level complete perfectly as well, seven spirits and three plants collected. Next level, as you can see, we're kind of burning through these levels uh, once more early on. Uh, it's pretty simplistic at the start. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We do a quick pause here. So we've got a, a gust of wind going upward. What do we have for abilities? Just the ability to drill. Well, this one seems really basic, right? Um, now, we're gonna notice here though, let's take a look, I think this level had a certain name. All right, let's gonna, gonna drill this across here. Now, unfortunately, with just the drill, you're gonna look at the situation and be like, well, this gust of wind doesn't seem like it's close enough to actually uh, to actually launch them up, and it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear space here to allow the wind from down here to create an updraft and send our remaining two guys through. And there we go. And 
And the last of them goes... whoop de doo Level completes. There you go. P perfectly again, two spirits and zero plants. Alright, next one here. Pause this, take a look at the available abilities. We have just got the wind gust this time. Also important to keep in mind, take a look here, there's another leaf pile. So there are also gonna be spirits coming up from this direction. Uh, so I think the best course of action is gonna be get this guy down here, cause a blow, cause a draft back this way, and then get this guy over here and cause a draft to go right on over and through. Let's see if that turns out to be successful or not. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. This one's gonna go straight back. And then that's gonna get collected. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, hit escape and then W to wake everyone up. And then we're gonna do another one right up over here. Okay, so this guy, I'm gonna think, I'm not sure if a cross will be good though. Let's find out. Let's see if this is enough to actually send him all the way across. Oh, that's gonna do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh gosh, all right, we're gonna cancel this guy so that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, I don't want that loop-de-loop -loop to continue. And now it looks like everyone's gonna make it. And unfortunately, I did lose one that may uh, hurt me here and give me a not perfect score. Yes, losing that one guy gave me a not perfect score. How unfortunate. Uh, I guess that's just the way it is. All right, so look at this. A plant is worth more than a thousand spirits. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Take a look at what we have here. We have got we have we have got to save at least one. We've got access to the plant bridge as well. Also, we've got access to a gust of wind here. Let me see. Let me try this here. I'm going to try blowing from this spot and see if this sends people over, or if they still get sucked into it. Ah, uh, yes, sends them right on over. Glorious, glorious day. So we're going to do that, and then when he gets here. Oh gosh, he's jumping. He's jumping across. Shucks, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that quick enough. I'm sorry. So when he jumps, when when one of these spirits starts to jump, you actually cannot. From that point, um, I'm definitely going to be one short of a perfect here. From that point, you cannot morph them into something else. Look at that. Well, at least I know how it would have been done. I just clicked on that first guy a little bit too late. And we'll take a look at level number ten, zigzag. And um, I think after that, we're going to hop into. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. So let's take a look at this level here. I've got access just to the gust of wind this time. Um, now, so what I think is going to make sense is they're going to be moving over here. So we're going to cause an updraft in this direction, which will swirl them back up here. And we'll see if... Hmm. And the other thing I could do is cause this guy to blow straight up. And then maybe that can go across. Let's try that one right there. So we're going to go ahead and pause this right here really quick. I'm going to go with this guy. Should I go across or straight? Let me go across here. Let's see if that will be a good path for them to take. And that is not enough. So we're going to restart that level. Just escape an R is the way you do that. Now let's try it. Uh, let's try going up this time and see what path this takes them along here. So that's going to go up and across. Good. And then from here, we're going to launch him up okay that guy's gonna do that is that enough to collect it yes it is and then this guy right here he is gonna blow in this direction and that should do the trick right there let's go ahead and wake everyone up and they drop right down now one thing I do need to do is there's still one more plant right there Gotta try to make sure that we, oh, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? That makes me sad. Let me try dropping this one, see if that changes that draft at all. It does not. Oh, that makes me a, like, makes me a sad panda there. Okay, so let's see here. I need to click on this cloud, which of course this is gonna give me a hard time. There it is, we're gonna cancel that cloud right there. And I'm gonna try making one a little bit more in this direction and see if that changes it. There we go. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get that last plant there, unfortunately. Oh gosh, what are you guys doing? Thank you. Did we get it? No, we did not. Oh well, far from perfect, but there you go. Uh, pretty good look at this game though, and I think that this is gonna give you a really good idea of uh, what this game really is all about. Okay, now we got this thing here. I gotta exit out of this though, otherwise I'll be doing this all day. 
pretty interesting puzzle game. Once more, uh, very, very reminiscent of Lemmings, if that's a sort of game that you're interested in. And you could very well enjoy this game, Spirits. Now, it is available currently on the Steam Store. And once again, this is also, I believe this is also available for Mac as well. I don't think it is just for PC. So take a look at Spirits, currently available for $9.99. There is a 10% discount as of this moment, lasting up until September 11th, bringing that down to $8.99. A nice fall-themed game, and if you like a Lemmings, style of gameplay then maybe check this out thanks so much for watching guys as always if you like the content please be sure to subscribe to the channel keep watching and keep owning